y'all Dixie. And I'm Granny. And Welcome. We wish you all a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> My hat fell off. <laughs> Look up. Oh, you pulled my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mr. Mark has sent you a card a little while ago. So let's see, let's see what he sent. Since having my surgery, I don't wear glasses, but unless I'm reading something or looking at numbers. Lord, I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. <laughs> How cute. Oh, which one of our cars? Oh, Granny, Mamma and Aunt Cindy. I love the on your tube. I love the something on your tube. <laughs> Please use the enclosed gift card for craft supplies. Mark. Yep, What's Mark L. Mm -hmm. We won't share his last name just in case, but Mark L. And he comments frequently, and I think that's the third gift card he sent you. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so what crafting are you doing right now? She says she's gonna do a quilt, so that'll be good. You can buy your binding and your uh, bat, uh, mm -hmm. your bat mm -hmm. with your quilt. If I came with my hands, they're getting worse and worse. Well, you so. can start it, and if you run into it, I'll finish it for you. Are you working on any quilts? Oh, my dear Lord. You are you working on seven quilts at, a, at the same time? All right, what's yeah, this winter? I'm embroidering. Andrew and Will, I got up our monkey and, and my quilt stuff, and I found football helmets. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing Will, a Elizabeth and Cyclone. It's got the helmet, it's and it's doing young, the orange see. and black. And then I'm doing Andrew, the Patriot one. You. And I found a guy in Kingsport that's going to do the, I'm not going to do all of them in the helmets, which I did do them one quilt like that, but this one I'm going to break it up and he's going to do the emblems in between it and then I'll quilt in between it. So I got third quilt started so I'm doing the embroidering stuff on that. Do they and know you're doing it? Yeah because yeah. it's not a present it's just I'm doing it. And I've got seven quilts to quilt and then I got a, a really old quilt I'm quilting for a, a real good friend of mine. I'm going to do it this winter and give it to her. She wants it hand quilted because I don't usually quilt for people. Mm -hmm. But she's really had you a lot of You got one of Cindy's started. Yeah, I got one Cindy started. So yeah, I got seven quilts to quilt. And two, so you'll be sending lots started. of quilting videos for fans yeah. to watch. <laughs> and no fingers. They're just now healed up. Your yo-yo quilts have been pretty popular. They're even using them to teach in classes, you know, I and know. stuff. So. Somebody was asking me how to do the backing on that yo-yo mm -hmm. quilt. You just lay whatever you're gonna put the backing on, and then you lay your quilt on. You wanna keep it down, but Tell in the that bag behind you, in the center. I won't show you that. In the center where your yo-yo goes together, I bag you would go through and sew that to the backing, and just knot it and knot it like that. That's what you would do if you didn't want it just to be the plain yo-yo. If you want backing on it, well, you'll have to show us some of them. What you got there, Granny? Here is a necklace oh. to give Aunt Evelyn. Is that a yo-yo quilt necklace? Yeah. That's what it looks like. That's what it is. <laughs> who made that? I don't know who made it, but it came from a, a yo-yo necklace. How neat. And it's it was made back in 1995. That would make, that'd be easy to make. Uh oh, combining the two worlds. She gave it to me Cindy. to take Aunt Evelyn and I had a Necklace, case. jewelry, and yo yo oh, quilts. Oh, that is, is a button. Sounds so like she would make those your... and pass them off to you to try. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, what's your newest um, That'd be so newest ornament you've worked on? She's working on one right now for Mandy. Is it a surprise? No, she asked if I could do it. Because for some reason, she wants to do her Christmas tree in her room in Ghost. Okay. <laughs> but she wanted it, her tree is white and she wanted 
pink and white goes. Okay. And your wish is, is my command, right? Is that what you said to her? Yeah, I said I'd try. That, the, I, the only one I've done this year is... Uh, covered bridge. I did to finish the covered bridge. Yeah, that was cool. All right, we're going to go I check out the picture. covered That'd bridge. Really nice. And you've got your tree. The it's gorgeous. Really with all of Cindy's ornaments on it. Well, I mean, Cindy's take the And the newest <laughs> is the covered bridge. That was a good idea. Here in Elizabeth. Because we didn't have nobody to help us. Somebody asked me to do that. Mm -hmm. Christy. Yeah, Christy said I could probably make some money on it, but I didn't do it for stuff for my yeah. Well, it's neat. I, I just like challenged it. myself. It's really nice. Yes, she did make Christy's next stuff. year's. Next year's sewing projects, Next what are they? Next year's videos. I can't tell you. It's oh, it's top secret? Top secret sewing videos. So we do have to make a, a, a wedding one. Oh, I do have to make a wedding ball, but that's not top secret. <laughs> we done made one. We this has nothing it. to do with balls. This has something to do with sewing machine. Oh, oh boy. All right, well, thank you so much for the gift card. Know that it'll be put to some good use, right, Granny? Yes, if you'd like to, please send us Christmas cards. We enjoy getting them. Granny loves to get them. She loves mail. <laughs> and you might even get one back, right? Yep. <laughs> she keeps all of her cards. She's got all of her addresses. So you might be surprised to get one in the mail. You all watch the episodes, though, every week. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we watch. But you couldn't probably watch yourself for five hours straight. Actually, when it comes to 9 o'clock, Granny and I go to YouTube, and we have certain people that we we make sure we watch their videos every night. We really like this one little family up from North Carolina, Homestead Holler. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, they get into the really, they grow their food, they butcher their food. But really, and she is, I told They're Mama. from California. I told Mama, I said, I would love to sit down at her table one time and eat. She oh, puts, that's all she does is pick. She puts on a spread <laughs> and makes the prettiest bread and rolls. Speaking of spreads, what is a must-have at Christmas? What is something that you all have to make every year? Popular requests. Dixie's cheese sausage salsa dip okay mm. cheese salsa sausage dip i didn't dip. have one spoonful i thought i'd have enough that i could snack this evening because i fixed that crock pot full it's melted cheese uh With sausage, sausage and, and, and rotel salsa. and salsa or just the salsa you just make salsa. put it in there yeah and is it the sausage from the hogs you yeah. you kill yourselves? Mm. Yum. And they're they killing it to one 15. spoon left. They're killing hogs and stuff. So I always have to make that. I always have to make a cheese ball. Yeah, Cindy makes the best cheese balls. Granny, what are you in charge of this Christmas? What is your, Just you gotta make? I won't get in our She has always <laughs> made a Christmas jam cake. Christmas jam cake. I didn't make one last year, did I? Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. And you oh, messed it up, so you dumped it. Stuff, she said. <laughs> yeah, she's. Well, this might be the year you need to redo it and film her. See if we can get it right this time. That's the one that you know, she makes. Mama died. I made one. I made two every Christmas till Leon passed away. And after he passed away, I didn't make any because I seen Howard had several in his freezer. Or <laughs> he just took them home. And wrapped them up, put them in the freezer. So he didn't eat them, so it wasn't used to make them. They always made one here because Ann wanted it. And I like them. Oh, too. yeah. I made one here, but I always made one on it. And, hired, and if I didn't make it when we was going up there to the parties, and one of one of the other would get, get it and hide it from the other one, so they would have it. Same with the chocolate pies. Yeah, I made two chocolate pies yesterday. They ate one of them last night. I started making one for Thanksgiving, but I didn't make one. Do you all usually do a ham at Christmas? What we is your meat? Always do a ham. Always yeah. do a ham. We do, rolls. we do simple at Christmas. It's just ham, Mostly. rolls, potato salad, and then snacks. Mm -hmm. Chips, dips, pumpkin Devil rolls. Devil eggs. We, I usually get all kinds of fudges and cookies. It's 
And we've already started on them. You've already started on some Christmas goodies? We've got the chocolate fudge, peanut butter fudge, lemon fudge, lemon fudge, mm. green and green fudge. sickle fudge already in the freezer, lemon fudge and is sausage really good. balls in the freezer. I've done three batches of sausage balls and put them in the freezer. And we have pumpkin fudge and dreamsicle fudge also on our YouTube channel. I don't guess we have chocolate fudge. How funny. I think we've skipped the chocolate fudge. Any tips on how to make a delicious chocolate fudge then, Granny? You let Aunt Cindy make it. You let Aunt Cindy make it? Okay, any tips, Aunt Cindy, on making the chocolate fudge? We make it together, but she usually... I made mine this year. Off the same recipe, I do the dreamsicle fudge, but I didn't put the flavoring and the color. And I used, and it came out creamier, softer, and better. And turn your stove down and let it barely boil instead of keeping it at a really, really hard boil. Mm -hmm. And it, it worked so this sad. year. But never make candy when it rains. Bread either. Candy and bread, can't do it. And we made chocolate candy, chocolate this year. But chocolate we fudge full with of walnuts. Mm. So I cracked probably my make own one, nuts. I saw that. One without walnuts. We might make another one without walnuts. We'll probably have to if me and you don't stay out of it. <laughs> you guys already into the fudge? <laughs> probably have to make another peanut butter fudge if I don't stay out of it. That's my favorite. Lord, do you remember when we used to go Christmas shopping? And I'd always buy me one of them big half pound things of fudge. Mm -hmm. And by the morning, I'd be gone. I'd you'd be up all night long eating fudge. <laughs> That's my favorite. Okay, we're going to make some lemon fudge. We've never made it before, so we're just going to try it. And I put in three cups of the white chips and I put in one can, 14 ounces of uh, sweetened condensed milk. Sweet condensed milk. So I'm going to put in four tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. And two tablespoons of lemon zest. And we're going to stir this till we get it all melted up good together. You don't have to say boil it, but just as long as it melts up good. And we're going to try and see what it's going to be like. We're making this now for the holidays. We're going to make this and we're going to put it in the freezer, which we'll let it sit overnight, and then we'll show you tomorrow before we put it in the freezer that it will be in our, then when the holidays come up, we will have it, and we don't have to worry about making everything at one time. That doesn't have to come to a bowl. It says just cook it till it all melts good, so I believe it's got melted good right now. Cindy, we about put it in our dish. Now. Well, I'm going to pour it in on this parchment paper. And we'll put it in where it's cool tonight so it can set up and we can put it in the freezer. So we'll have one round of candy made for the holidays. I'm going to put some zest, sprinkle some on top of the lemon of the candy.
This really smells good. Now, I don't know how to taste, but it smells good. Mm. Mm. Our lemon fudge set up overnight. So we're going to cut it and put it in our little container and put it in the freezer. So we'll have it when the holiday season comes around. I'm not making great big pieces because All right, Granny and I are going to taste this fudge. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Rich and lemony. Something new. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come back and see us.